Uh, my name is Olivier, and this is Benjamin, the CEO of Oletcom. Nice to meet you. And so what's the latest with uh, Light, Light 5? So what is very new this year is the fact that we are launching also a software solution on top of the Light 5 Max that you have seen last year, which was providing 100 megabit per second for a full cybersecurity solution. We are now having this product. You know, it's completely launched, industrialized, commercialized. CE everything. CE everything certified. Fantastic. Huh? 100 nice megabit? 100 megabit. Down. And up and down. Downlink. Up and down. And uplink, yes. Also 100 uplink. So between this and... Exactly. So and... Uh, maybe we can do a, a small... Uh, can be installed also as a smoke detector, like this. So no interference with Wi-Fi or anything? No, there is no interference with Wi-Fi. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's LED lights. It's uh, without any radio waves. So it's very interesting in some environments like schools, like kindergartens. Uh, are they adopting it? Yes, they are. Uh, yeah, they, they, there is a lot of interest, especially in Switzerland, by the way. <laughs> especially in Switzerland. Yes, uh, in in France, we have we, in France what we call a loi abeille. It's a law that forbids uh, to expose children below three to radio waves. Uh, in, uh, uh, on top of it, we have discovered that uh, a lot of companies are concerned about cybersecurity. The hackability of the Wi-Fi are very interested by this technology and especially they avoid what we call uh, an attack, a cyber attack which is called the man in the middle. And uh, with this technology, it's impossible to hack the signal outside the beam which makes it extremely robust. So the armies, the defense industries, the, um, uh, uh, the banks, insurance companies are now step-by-step step adopting this, uh, this Life by Max. But uh, you need to <coughs> put the shutters in front of the windows because if you can see the, um, through the window, so, you can hack on them. Yes, you're right, but you need a telescope of the NASA and maybe more to be able to hack it. <laughs> you need to be in a dark so room. It will be very difficult, very, very difficult. I, I would not say completely impossible because, you know, some people are extremely smart, but it would be very difficult. So anyway, if you put the shutters, it's totally impossible to hack. So, uh, what's with the, the, the new software? Ah, the new one, it's the uh, uh, first time in the world we introduce this uh, one giga Li-Fi Max. One it's giga? A, yeah, it's giga a proto, yeah. Gigabit. It's a proto right now, and uh, for the moment the target is M2M, machine to machine robotics. We have 300 on one side and 600 on the other side. So this is real. For the, for the moment it's a uh, it's a proto. It's a proto. And this is more gonna... upload and download. Yes, right now. Of course. That's and what I like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to upload my videos. Exactly, exactly. So, gigabit Wi-Fi. Yes. Exactly. What's the difference? How did you improve? There's uh, faster frequency. Yeah, yeah. What we have improved is especially what we call the analog part of it, which means that we have uh, worked step by step on improving our electronics. We call it high frequency electronics. Very sensitive and very complex. We need a lot of time of engineering to be able to, to, really, uh, to really improve the electronics. Step by step, our engineers are improving and testing and improving the, the, uh, the product. And this is why we are now able to show this one. But you know, in one year, we went from 10 for 13 megabits per second to 100. Now we are at 600, and at the end of, of, of this year, we are going to be above the one giga for sure. So. Um <clears throat> like uh, we did in our original video, the, the idea was that the lights and this kind of... How, oh, what's the distance? Okay, so uh, for this one, we are able to 
It's a compromise between the field of view and the distance. If you want a very large field of view, for instance, this one, you have a 90 degrees field of view, you will get a five meters reach. If you have a narrower field of view, you will get up to 60 meters field of view. Can you instance, zoom? Can you turn <laughs> yeah. the thing? Yes, of course, we have here a very sophisticated optical system. It's uh, patented that is able to uh, to, uh, to collect a very, very narrow and small amount of light. We call it uh, less than one microwatt of, uh, of light power. And this is why this is quite complex to do. A very problem. But is there any chance that if you had one up there, it could see exactly where you are and then it targets exactly there? Um, I, I would say not really because it's a passive system, it's not an active system. So we are not targeting to, uh, to how to say it? It will provide under the, the light beam, it will provide all the connectivity that you want. But it will not be actively looking for people. And, and to complete uh, what say Benjamin, it's uh, today uh, Li-Fi Max cybersecurity solution. It's not only um, a hardware, but it's also Li-Fi Max controller. It's a, a software going to come in the market in a couple of weeks, couple of months um, to uh, control, to give you control uh, of your um, Li-Fi solutions in your company, in your environment. Give you some uh, uh, tools to uh, uh, to give data, for example. So it's like a, an application uh, you control. It's a software. Manage. Yeah. And what's the other software you're talking about? Did you talk about some yes. specific software? So on top of the product, we are now having launching a software which is the Live Max controller, which is That's providing the, the DHTP server providing a handover, providing roaming, providing uh, alert reporting, telemanagement of the access points. So basically, this software enables you, as a company, to integrate the Li-Fi into your IT network infrastructure without any problem, and giving you the whole security that you need. What's the chance that we can uh, get a Li-Fi signal on the phone? To read the Li-Fi on the phone, do you have any? Uh, yes, yes, of course. We uh, oh. we are working on a on a chipset. Uh, yeah. We are working on a chipset uh, on a on one gigabit chipset. We call it an analog phone and chipset that will be available for the first prototype next year in Las Vegas. So I invite you. Next year you will see the first one millimeter per 2.5 millimeter chip that will be able to integrate into the smartphones. And of course, once we have done it, the market is infinite and will provide Li-Fi connectivity for consumers as it was the case for Wi-Fi 10 years ago. So my uh, front camera and my back camera will both support so it? it? So it will depend. The, 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 the smartphone the makers will decide what kind of use case they will uh, they will use for instance some of them have some ideas about their own use cases will it be the camera or is it a different sensor uh, it's not a camera. no it will not be the camera it so will a be a different thing. sensor yes. what is this material here what, what is um what's a, a sensor it's, it's a secret, secret? <laughs> seriously because you have seriously. competitors who are trying to steal the secrets <laughs> Of course, yes. <laughs> Samsung, so it, uh, LG, uh, uh, LG? Yeah, maybe Samsung, maybe LG, I don't know. But Google. I have also some other, like Philip Signify, <laughs> who are a very strong competitor. They want to know what we are doing. They are looking at us. You know? Did you invent this? Yes, we have 21 patents. And for instance, this product, I really have designed it myself uh, from the very beginning, with my engineers, of course, and the engineers of Oletcom. Yeah, made in France? Yes, in the, in the University of Paris-Saclay. We are a spin-off of this university and we have uh, five PhDs and uh, 12 engineers working on it constantly and improving the technology every year. Yeah. So, um, but it's been a few years now, no? Yes, Three, four, of five, course. How, how many years? Seven years. Seven, seven, years. seven years of R&D. 
but we really started to work off what we call the industrialization of the technology, which means moving from the laboratory to the real world uh, three, three to four years ago. Uh, how about going uh, on a public square and having Wi-Fi? Is it going to happen? Or, or is it going to be uh, like killer apps? Are you talking mostly about kindergartens? Where do you, where do you think it's going to be I huge? Think at this moment, we have two killer apps that are now confirmed by the customers. It's cybersecurity, so providing an unhackable wireless connectivity in offices for certain companies. And the second one is the aeronautics. With the Li-Fi, you can save up to 100 kilos in an aircraft. This is why it's very interesting. For 100 kilos? 100 kilos, yes. Because 100 in tons, a, maybe. <laughs> 100 kilos. 500, for instance, Air France told us that they are able to save 500 kilos in a 777 thanks to the Life Fund. Take away all the cables. You take away all the shielded cables. You take away uh, connectivity box. Yeah, exactly. You can, you can basically remove all the cables that are used for the in-flight entertainment system uh, uh, below the seats and only use fiber optics and uh, which are above the passengers that communicate immediately the, 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 the signal to the seats. So in one year it pays for the whole system? Ah, yes. And you save the uh, gas? A lot. And, and, and provides a fantastic uh, connectivity to the passenger. 100 megabit per second is very comfortable. So uh, are you able to make it stable? Is it uh, stable or it's because it looks very well aligned right now that you're going to have a system where you can move anywhere and it just works, right? Um, this is just the first prototype of one giga, but if you, if you, if you go here, you will see a, a, a solution which is extremely stable now. And can I show anywhere? you a small video which is very nice? Let me, you are, it's very interesting. I want to show to you what a customer of mine in Japan has done with the technology. It is really, really very, very interesting. So you see here the chalk. There is one Life Fi Max dongle in the train, and the camera is, uh, is connected to it. So the camera is filming around and we have a live climax on top. This is to show to you that the system is safe. Surprised to see uh, the testing that our customers were doing with the technology. Is it something you can use on light bulbs? Yes, of course. When when we'll have the chip. One of the applications will be to integrate that into the socket of the light bulb. And all the light bulbs in the room? Yes, of course, yes. It will so be perfectly possible to do. And it, works. it will be perfectly possible to do. You still need to connect the, the, the light bulbs to the, I will say, to the, to the, to the network for, via, via, via PLC, for instance. Yeah. But it will be perfectly possible to do. Power line. Yes. And then uh, smart light bulbs that create a Li-Fi. Exactly. So if you, if you combine power line communication and Li-Fi, you will be able to, to communicate from all the light bulbs uh, uh, that are connected to the... to and the, the, the eye, there's no difference. You don't see any... You don't know because you blink the LED so fast, 30 million times per second, that you cannot see it. 30 million? 30 million times. Cool. And that chip will support gigabit? Yes, absolutely. All right.